Saint Martha, the Lord's worker and servant, is only mentioned in three chapters of the Bible, but her character comes through clearly. We only know what we read about her in the Gospels of Luke and John. Whatever is said about her early life comes to us from apocryphal writings, which could be the work of somebody's imagination. We first meet her in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. The Lord was often a guest in her home, especially during the time of his preaching in Jerusalem. Her sister Mary sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Hospitality is paramount in the Middle East, and Martha believed in its importance. So she quickly ran to the kitchen to serve her guests. Mary, in the meantime, ignored the hospitality and Martha in order to sit and listen to Jesus. She came out of the kitchen and said, Lord, my sister has left me alone to serve. Speak to her, therefore, and tell her to help me. Jesus' response is not unkind, which gives us an idea of his affection for her. He observes that Martha is worried about many things that distract her from really being present with him. He reminds her that there is only one thing that is truly important, listening to him. And that is what Mary has done. In Martha, we see ourselves worried and distracted by all we have to do in the world and forgetting to spend time with Jesus. It is, however, comforting to note that Jesus loved her just the same. The next visit shows how well Martha learned this lesson. When her brother Lazarus died, both Martha and her sister Mary were grief-stricken. When Martha was told that Jesus had arrived, she went out to meet him. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would have not died. But I know that even now God will give you what you ask. Jesus told her that her brother shall rise again. I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believes in me, although he be dead, shall live. And everyone that lives and believes in me shall not die forever. Do you believe this? Jesus asked. I have come to believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, he who is to come into the world. Jesus then raised their brother Lazarus from the dead. Martha's great faith in Jesus was thus rewarded. There's another story, this one from Province. Now, keep in mind that this is a legend, but one with an interesting lesson to it. According to provincial tradition, after the ascension of our Lord, when the disciples departed, Martha, with her brother Lazarus and her sister Mary and many others, were put into a ship without sail oars, or rudder. By the conduct of our Lord, they all came to Marseille, and after came to the territory of Aix in province. They began preaching the word of God to all the people in Aix. Martha was welcomed graciously by the townspeople, and they were very courteous to her. The people told her about a ferocious dragon living by the woods half beast and half fish who lurked in the river. Tarascon dragon, as it was commonly called, had a huge body covered with sharp horns. It was so powerful that it drowned the ships. The terrifying monster killed those who passed through its poisonous breath. The people of the town had lost their sons, daughters, and many of their neighbors to this monster, and they implored the saint for her help. At the behest of the people in the region, Martha went into the woods where the monster lived. To her shock, she found the Tarascon monster eating a man. 
the saint remained calm and prayed to God to help her. She then cast on him holy water and showed to him the cross. The monster was overcome by some power, and it suddenly stood as still as a sheep. The saint then bound the dragon with her girdle. According to the legends, Martha and Mary lived out the rest of their days in Tarascon, and they were daily occupied in daily prayers and in fasting. They gathered together a great convent of sisters and built a fair church in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Martha's tomb is located in the crypt of the local collegiate church in Tarascon. To this day, she is venerated by Roman Catholics in Provence. Her feast day is July 29th. Because she took care of the hungry followers of Jesus, she is traditionally known as the patroness of housewives, waiters, waitresses, and cooks. Let us follow her example in caring for our homeless, poor, and needy among us. Let us pray also to her for the needs of the parish, and for our own personal needs, material and spiritual. O oh, Saint Martha, teach me to offer the simple gifts of kindness and hospitality to others as you did to Jesus and others. Let my hands be open to God's word in my life. Bless and pray for all those who come to my door. Amen. Hello, viewers. You can watch all episodes of this video right now on Patreon. If you can pledge a small monthly donation as low as $2 on Patreon, you can watch exclusive videos, bonus content, get free merchandise, and much, much more. Just go to patreon.com slash Christian Kids. We turn the best lessons from our faith into interesting animated videos and share them online. With your support, we'll be able to make more videos and invest more in the quality of each video. So what do you say? Every little bit helps, and your kindness will be rewarded with some pretty awesome perks. If you are not in a position to support us financially, then please do pray for us. Prayer support is very important for our mission. We hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.